Hey guys, Dino. Right, we're live. That's cool. I've got myself a new AIO, um, I think it's second hand. I have a second hand AIO, it's made by Azus. I'm about to try and replace the hard drive in it, or more correctly, install the hard drive in it, because I know the hard drive that's in it has been removed. Um, I'm going to do this live, just for fun, so if I break something, you guys are going to see it. You're going to have probably some time for me looking for tools I can't find because I had them in my hand three minutes ago and I'll put them down and I can't find them you can enjoy this fun, you can enjoy the laughter that's going to come from it so I'm going to whack you over to the 1080p full screen like this or would you guys rather we had something like that you know what, I think we'll go with this when I'm here, I'm here and you guys can chat, so which is, which is going to be useful, I think, to you guys. Uh, that is an old Twitter image. We're going to get rid of that. Don't appear to have the IRL chat screen up. Come on, give us chat. I can't chat if I ain't got a chat button. Oh shit! Has Twitch gone down? Oh man, yeah, we just went live. Just went live. I can't see the stream. That's depressing. Twitch. Da 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 Bang. That should be us. I. Or I just lost. Oh, I just lost the internet. What's going on? What is happening? Gonna try and repair a computer for you guys. With broadband, that doesn't work. This is gonna be interesting. It's not going to work very well. Is it just this? Is it, what is going on? Things may work. Okay, so I have a problem with my main PC. Just for fun and frolics. That's awesome. Uh, I do like it when we can't see stuff. So... I can at least now see some of it. Might have to refresh everything. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Maybe I should that. Hey, you guys. That works. Right. Now I can see the chat. I will check it periodically, guys. So I'm going to switch over to the main screen. I obviously haven't got the chat box in here. Kind of should have the chat box. Why is the chat not... Oh, where's that gone? You ever have one of those days, peeps, where you just go do something? You can't do it, it'd be really quick. It'd be five minutes. Five minutes, that's what it's going to take. No. No, it's not five minutes. More like half hour or more of endless persisting around, as I put it. Let's get one thing done at a time. So... We're going to start off with a chat box. There's a chat box. Add a chat box. Uh, yeah, you'll do. We really don't care how how you like on that one, do we? There we go. Boom! We have a chat box. There we go, guys. We have a chat box. I'll oh, put in pets. Nah. Right, so I'm going to disappear from up here. I'm going to go over that way. Um, chat is going to arrive and it's going to stream out of this as it goes. Going to enlarge the text box out a little bit. There we are, boys. There we go. There we go. So you guys can see the mess that is on the floor and my lovely socks. And uh, we're going to go on from there, I think. Right, let's start. This lovely bit of kit here is the Azus unit. It is, for those of you interested, an ET23211. Now, I don't actually have the power supply for this, but without the power supply, I can still do a lot of checking before we get to doing something else with it. Um, so 
So I'm just gonna grab a screwdriver. Just gonna take the thick screws out. So some of you will probably notice the ginormous mouse mat that's underneath this and the fact that some of the uh, backing screws are not in here, bits are missing and it'll be triggering a few people, I know it will be. Uh, end result, don't look if you feel that squeamish, let's just get oh, one of these. The old takeaway tin, got a hole in it but for screws uh, yeah, let's not be uh, let's not be ungrateful to what we get. Right. Now you will notice there is a there is a CD. Well, it's actually a Blu-ray drive in this guys. So there's a Blu-ray drive. It is here. There is a cover that goes here, and I know for a fact that the prep on this, when they took it apart for me, they put the cover and all the other screws and everything else that was taken out inside the unit so it didn't get lost where the hard drive was and where the hard drive has been removed from now I know because I've taken one into part before they're a bit fiddly they're a bit of a pain we have two types of screwdriver around most of it and we will need a pry tool I have ordered some new pry tools but they haven't arrived and I will get this done which is going to be fun where have I put the other pry tools? Where have they gone? I had the other old pry tools that were practicing. This kept falling apart on me. But a falling apart pry tool today, better than no pry tool. Until tomorrow, really. Well, I'll take work, it'll be next week somewhere. Um, I don't really want this hanging around until then. Unfortunately, it's. Uh, Guys, maybe we can get this up with just fingers. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Uh, yeah, gonna go with no on that. Minimal damage if we can. Let's uh right corner. Find my pry tools. Where did they end up? <sighs> dear, oh dear. Right. Let's have screwdrivers down here. That down there. I'm going to sit over here for a minute. Have a think. Have a drink. Let's get a drink. That's a good idea as well. Right, okay, so I'm back again, guys and girls. Now, we'll quick look here, that rare view of stuff behind me, because I have stuff everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, really. Oh, there they are. They're in the drawer. Where else will they be? So, I have an Xentia kit. So, one of those guys, uh, it's actually a yellow and a black. Um, but because of the colour scheme in here, you see that, what it looks like. Um, lovely little kit, loads of bits in it. Has some pry tools. The pry tools in this though do suffer from being plastic. Uh, they're an ABS style. Just uh, to focus, there we go. So they're an ABS style plastic. Um, they're not got the sharpest uh, 
I can't even get that, it's not even going in. That is infuriating. Now I know for a fact that one of the balls on this unit. There we go. Completely <laughs> completely not what you're supposed to do. Let's get the other one. Maybe a bigger pry tool would help on this. Oh. Come out. There we are. You can see bit of a bit of a pain in connections on this. It's a little bit annoying. Come on, there we go. That's the sort of thing. I do have some metal pry tools coming from Amazon, but they pushed the delivery back. Uh, another. What was it? I pushed it back another three weeks. So that's not going to arrive for some time. Just need to get, if we can get this edge out, it would be good. Come on, baby. You know what? Get an edge. We'll get a wedge. That's what we'll do. Edge it and wedge it. Come on. Not that it's ever going to answer me, but what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to disconnect the uh, clips that are in here. And there are some. I want to break them, I just want to disconnect them if I can. Which is proving. There we are. Got him. And hopefully, this side is now released. And the rest of it is going to come up shortly, I hope. So, some of you that are worrying about the fact that this is face down and. Uh, basically getting scratched the hell because it is an all-in-one. I have a brand new mouse mat I bought because I knew I was getting the unit. Funny enough the mouse mat actually cost more than the unit did. Um, it's not an indictment of, uh, of a Zeus or anyone out of Zeus. It's just how cheap the mouse mat was and how cheap I got the PC actually to be fair. A very decent little unit if I can get it to work. Well, this going to cost. It will cost. Will cost more, in, in fact, at the end of it, because. Uh, come on. What was it? Where are you getting caught? Trying to get one of these edges to go. If I can get another corner to go, you can probably. There we go. There we are. Boom. Like right, that, guys. That's all you've got to do. It's that simple. And now you can see the uh, horridness in this PC. Um, it is an assumption. The people that used the PC before me, as you can see, all the bits as stated are here. There's a bag, well, envelope of screws. It's quite cool. But if you guys can see in here, 
this is why your PCs stop working guys just you know for the love of God don't smoke around PCs but, you know just generally don't smoke it's gonna cost you one way or another it's gonna cost you and it ain't gonna be a nice cost you know it's gonna cost you a bit and it'll cost you it won't ever stop costing you um, yeah, you know, once you've got cancer and shit, you're gone. Well, I suppose these days we do tend to try and help and heal and things like that. But, I mean, look at that. You see that stand off there in the centre? It's supposed to be black and it's brown. I mean, that is some seriously disgusting bits. The um, problem with this is, it could be ABS plastic, so... I've got to be careful how I clean it up, which is... I would like to have used, like, metal or something like that. I could try a bit of metal on it, but if it's ABS, that will actually cause two things. It will liquefy, and cause it to turn brittle. So don't do that, guys. Not, not a good idea. Um, the reason I am looking at this system, of course I'm popular, uh, apparently I have a cup of tea if you guys aren't here. I'm going to go grab that because I just keep shouting because of that respond and it causes more problems. I'll be back and see if I'll find some cleaning equipment while I'm away. Can't win, guys. You just can't win. <sighs> People don't listen to you, right? Okay, I'm going to so many of you guys today, because what I normally use is a brush, and I can't find my normal brush, which is annoying, because it was here, and I'm out there and stuff, like always, I have things everywhere, tidying up is definitely a requirement, but this is here to help me do that. Removes a PC, so I'm going to use what is a artist brush. There we are. Uh, well, use that one. All right. So let's start on this backboard. So just a, over a bin and just going backwards. Poking through, just poking through everything, making sure all that crap comes out. So 
what I'm trying to do. I'm trying not to aerosol the, uh, the rubbish. I'm trying not to anyway. Failing a little bit to be fair guys. I am failing a bit here. Bear in mind guys, anything like this, where you've got all this sort of crap just in the system. I mean look, look at, look at this now. If I uh, give you the camera back, see I can see through this now, it's actually a vent. There's actually two vents. Yeah, you can see through them, you couldn't see through them before, which is a really disgusting thing. You can see the fan here. I may not come to replace this fan. Depends how bad the uh well, I say contamination but it is contamination. Um, how bad it actually is. Uh, some of you are probably wondering why I'm not using the compressed air can at this point. Um, Kind of a reasonable question, I suppose, but the re the, re the answer, the simple answer, is it's just going to blow the air, blow the crap around my room and around where I'm working. I don't want to do that because that's just going to cause me problems. I have one of these little turtles. I brought this all, and it's supposed to be a desk Hoover. Is what it was, it was supposed to be. Um, uh, I'll be honest, it works quite well. There's a couple of AA batteries, but I think some rechargeables in there. And just get everything tied here. Yeah, I think I might have to remove that fan completely. This one, oh my word. So this is what this is why there's a problem. Um, I can see the memory now. So I can see some of the information for this. Um, it's gonna be a complete strip drown. I can't really avoid it, I want to clean this up. So I'm gonna remove a few more screws. I'm going to get that base bit out and then we're going to look at tidying and cleaning everything, contacts, I may look at replacing the paste on this unit, um, then I'm going to end up removing the heat sink for the CPU because it looks like it isn't that badly looked after. See this is it. There we go. Okay, what's going on here? Um, got nothing holding us down. Is this one holding us down? Oh we have got some holding down. Really 
properly placed screw, just like an inside. You can see that it's had some heat on it. See, see the colorations? Some heat in there. Uh, it's a bit clean. Uh, what have we got in here? We have got eight gigs in total. That's not too bad. See here, processors here. That's the heat pipe that's this unit. This unit needs to be removed. This unit needs to be removed. And they all come down here. So the hard drive goes here. So I'm going to remove this. And what I'm going to have to do is basically complete this way all. Um, and realistically, it probably this machine probably would have kept working if whoever it was that smoked hadn't smoked near it. Uh, where's that screw from? Where's that screw? That's down. It's down there. Oh, wow. So, right. Here's the hot replay. There is the Blu-ray cover. You can see by this some of the colouring. The uh, oh, I'll do that. Some of the colouring on this. See when you just it is so so filthy dirty. Uh, so obviously the one thing we don't know is if this actually works at the moment. Um, at all. Unfortunately, it looks like this is going to be a two-part stream, um, stopping right about the time that I uh, take this out to freaking well get defumed. Ah, oh. ah, oh. I was. Oh man, this is going to be a full strip down. Something will not happen live on this channel, guys. Um, look at that. It's disgusting. No wonder. No wonder why you guys had so much trouble with your PC before it went and stopped. Probably overheated. Most air it's ever had. Is this an all in one unit or is the fan separate? The fan is separate, it's just taped on. Excellent, okay. Uh, lift this. Uh, that peel that. Oh, look at that. So, see that? You see this? Can you guys see this? That's a. Uh, Let's move the old bourbon out of the way. We'll just take you guys for a bit of a view. Look at that. This is not rust. Guys, that's not rust. I wish I could say it was rust. It's not rust. It isn't rust. That is smoker's crap. No wonder this didn't work. No wonder why you guys had so much trouble and ended up getting it replaced after two years. Because you literally... Look at that. Absolutely filthy. I cannot see through. <laughs> oh man, I want to remove that. We, we are going to remove this on the uh, <coughs> Separate all this out, we'll uh, rebuild it, I think. Mean. Uh, these ones 
so I'm going to put here for a second because there are only for the heat sink. Depends what sort of thermal place this thing's got on it, but I suspect this poor bloody thing's been sat here screaming for a while. It probably thermal throttled more than once. Wi-Fi card there. That'd be good. This guys is what your smoking does to a heat sink that you should be able to see through. Yeah? Right, that is a that's supposed to be a heat, heat sink you can see through. You know, you're supposed to be able to if, if that's blocked like that, you got no air. You got no air. Well, let's just say, no air, that overheats. Um, the CPU compound on this is looking a little bit uh, toasty as well. Uh, what do I do with? I'll put it in my pocket. Where I'll put it? That is disgusting. That is thoroughly. Okay, I'll just blow this into the bin. I can't actually blow it out. <laughs> oh man. That is just so, so disgusting. Um, I, can, I honestly cannot describe enough how, how, how disgusting that actually is. Okay, let's uh, grab the little can of compressed air I do have. Got uh, this one. Okay, so just so you guys can see how filthy this actually is, you had the before, and we'll put that. I'll try and put that up in a minute, but. If you guys can see, yeah, you guys see through that? That's not a reflection, boys. That's not a reflection. That is actually showing through. So anything we've got left to do is to tidy up some of the gunk on this. I do have some paste. It's generic paste. Paste this, paste this, paste to me. Uh, I'm going to have to clean this all up. Um, I do have to take this away and clean out the fans and stuff. So, I'm going to stop the stream at this point. I will be back for part two. Um, you guys can see me fix this live and put all of it back together and sort of scratch my head where I put the screws. Because I know I'm going to do that later. But, yeah, this is... I know why this technically failed. And it didn't fail. The persons that were using it failed. They failed the technology. They failed as people that should be looking after their equipment. So yeah, it's just done. This sort of thing always annoys me. It's, it's heat. It's basic maintenance. And yeah, I mean, you know, obviously a home PC. 
and they've obviously smacked next to it, which you can't help people like that. You're never going to. Um, we will be back. I will put a new stream up in a bit uh, for part two once I've got all of this tidied up because you guys don't need to watch me wipe something and blow it out with air outside. So we'll see you in a little while. Until then, bye for now. Here we go guys. We are back. Right, there we are. I have now cleaned the fans, the backboard of the system. Every connection I can find I have cleaned up. Um, did this outside. It was disgusting. Uh, you're about to see the actual system once more. Um, I'm going to put it back together again, basically. I'm going to put the hard drive in that I've got. I'm going to give it a test, see if it works, see what happens. So I'm going to switch over to the HDMI input. There's our lovely system. As you can see, the specs and the dirt and the crap from here, from here, from here. I've cleaned up the CPU. I've tidied up a lot of the bits I had to tidy up. Um, I do have a new thermal compound. It does come in a big old tube. Um, it's going to horrify some of you enthusiasts out there. I know there are people out there that go, Oh, you can't use that. No, you can't use that. Oh, no, no, no. Um, and I'm putting too much on. Uh, am I putting too much on? Well, this stuff was caked earlier, so I am. Um, this is non-conductive, so unless something has a gap between the two electrical contacts and this is going to fill it, I don't care. It's the simple answer. It's the quick answer. Do not give a monkeys. And the reason I do not give a monkeys is that I'd rather have a connection there and have it acting as thermal paste than it not. So this bit obviously goes here, like so. We can give it a push down. We can release it. And that's actually got more, more suction to it it did with the other stuff that was so dry I had no it didn't even fight me I just took it apart you guys saw us on the last stream we just straight out no problem which in itself is actually a problem so I'm going to start this thing and we're going to work our way down the heat pipe and we're going to do a cross because I'm used to doing the cross, I don't know if you're supposed to do the cross on these ones. I have no way of knowing that. And you notice that I'm not crunching out, I'm not, I'm not doing that, I am doing that. Okay, I do not need to over tighten the screws. The screws are there just to hold it in place, and not to put pressure on the board. And for some, some systems, that may not be the case. For this system, it's definitely the case. So we're basically doing everything we've just done in reverse. Okay. So everything we did from part one to take it apart, we're now putting it back together again. And yeah. Put that hard drive in. This is a Windows 8 Azure system. It's not a Windows 10. Um, I don't know if it will work with Windows 10. It has apparently it has a touch screen. Um, I want to confirm that. I can't confirm that until we run it. I don't even know if it does have a touch screen. If that touch screen works, so no way of uh, finding that out for uh, for, a, for a bit. Uh, which way around did that go? That went. Can I go that way? That can't be right. What's it gone? That way. That makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. There we go. So we should put this little cable back in. I'm running it through the same period of where it was. The idea here isn't necessarily to 
re cable everything. It's more to make sure everything's in there. We're going to check the screws. All nice and what I call. Oh, there we go, that's why we check. Finger side. We aren't doing this to. Yeah, we don't need to crunch it. We don't need to. Everything should be undoable with a with, a, with, a, with this one screw. Just, uh, here it comes. It shouldn't be. You shouldn't be having to put a massive amount of body weight on a system to get the system apart. If you are, one of you has done something wrong. And I don't say one of you. It either means the guy that was putting it together originally. Or the idiot that's now taking it apart. Um, I am open to whichever one it is. Being responsible. Right, so I have screws that we've got to identify. One there, one there, one there. We've got some here. And we need to put that bit back on. Now, that's the what's it, Kelly? We'll put that out over the way at the moment because this needs to go in, and I believe, yep, well, so that covers a fair few, you know what, I'm not sure what I think that, let's have, so being that we're in a pandemic, I have a pot, and do me a pot, an industrial pot of these. Okay? Uh, of these. Oh, there we are. So I have those. Just using it for cleaning, general purpose, removing a crack. Yeah. Don't need to push hard, I just need to. Just need to clean. And tidy. Now, if whoever these were weren't smokers, I suspect they would have had a better time and probably spend less on equipment than they would to smoking. Um, Okay, as you can see, that is now somewhat better. Um, the foam in the back appears to be falling apart a little bit, but nothing too bad. That will go in there like that. Like that. Looking beautiful. Now we just need to screw certain bits in. Now I believe that one, oh, that right, screwdriver was helpful, went in there, and it did. Now I know that because it hasn't pushed that down hard. I'm going to put that in there like We need to get the screw for there, 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 there. Okay, so let's have a, I know it's not that one. I know it's none of the screws that are in there at the moment. Uh, the screws that are in here, should just be um, rear plate and drive screws and the blocking holes because I was careful when I removed them. Now I think that one was black. I think. Let's just make. Oh, we'll find out what we if we do. It either fit or it won't fit. Not so black. Right. This one probably 
silver. There we go. Make sure that's down. Boom. Got two of these. One there. Is that the way it was going? Pushing air that way? Or would it have been pushing air the other way? I mean that is the way the cable was. That wouldn't have been the other way. Because that cable would have been the wrong side. Right. If this cable was over here, if we turn that... There's not enough cable. No, fine. So that has to go up. Yep. Excuses, guys. I didn't take one of these apart in years. Uh, I remember where most of the stuff goes. You can see I do most of it without too much of a think these days. Um, we have a lot of screws left. Most of it's going to be for this, to be fair. in the black, well black. Ones in the holes on the silver. I don't remember which one's which. Mm. One of the joys of doing these sort of things though is that most of the screws in this box are going to be identical. Um, manufacturers, in general, the sensible ones, do not want to have 15 different freaking types of screw. They want to have three types of screw because three types of screw means a very simple construction process and the simpler a construction process is the easier it is for a repair department if they need to repair something to repair it the easier it is for people to maintain equipment um, things like that so yeah this thing here like this if you imagine you went to upgrade that memory this is a lot of action to try and get into that memory. Now I may at some point, I may actually do that memory at some point. Um, not at the moment, but it is a think. It is a thought. Okay, so we've got all that done. So we should have four screws for the corners, which is fine. We've got four screws for here, which are, let's say, those ones. We've got one black, actually we should have two black, because there should be two blacks that go in there. Okay, so we seem to have mislaid a black. One of these, probably this one, isn't supposed to be black. So we've got two, two blacks for there, that's fine. Four for in here. I'm holding that bit down. Four for the outside. That's fine. So four, four, and two. We have two left over. So that one is probably one of these. So probably. Maybe wrong on that. Maybe it's a little bit wobbly, but. Get a hole. Welcome to budget and stuff with them. And I have one there. So that we may have a different type of screw. That one. Okay. theory is that guys. Okay, so four, four, and two. She's rebuilt. There we are. That is that. Now I could 
Well, I do need to put the back on because the back on the back actually has the plugs which plug in here and here that do well a lot really um, annoyingly there's a lot in there but this is a hell of a lot better than it was um, I'm debating about taking that apart though because I don't like having Taking this heat sink out of this hard drive out. Uh, DVD drive, hard drive. It's a DVD drive. Good god thing. How are we doing this for? Actually, I might have to take that out. Let's move this up here for a second. What I'm trying to do is I'm going to get as much of the chunk out of this so I don't contaminate it further with my stuff. Uh, I don't smoke but uh, I don't want to have I want to have as little as little prep in my room as possible in terms of places with germs and stuff like that. You know, I mean yeah it's not a COVID sort of thing but this is a generic sort of thing. This is a a five second five seconds of taking taking your time and just making sure you get those nooks and crannies tied up. Put them in there, pull you out. Oh, Jesus, that's disgusting. So, you've got to bear in mind if this is what it's like outside. Uh, you are looking at something pretty, pretty thin filthy to be fair guys. Now I want, bear, want you guys to bear in mind, I took this outside and I gave this a air compressor blowout. Now air compressor blowouts, they do not remove everything, but that, I hope you guys can see that. Let's do right there. You, go. you see the dirt on that? That is all from inside the system. It's all actually. We should better. That's probably better off for the definition for you guys. Um, it's made an ounce for the light. So this is now the back. As you can see, these pillars are now actually black. If I put the light back on, you can see that there's. You can see the rub marks where I tried to clean things up. And see, it's actually some more dust in there. But nothing too bad as it was. There's no big clumps. There were massive clumps in there a moment ago that I noticed. And uh, yeah, I don't really want to have that in here. But be useful. Right. So, things that we've got coming up that we're going to have to deal with in a moment. We've got this is a Blu ray player, so it's a Blu ray roll. An uh, SN406. The ejector on the front is going to be a bit of fun. We should be able to poke uh, a. Uh, oh, you guys didn't remind me. Didn't think about it, did we? It's not here. Didn't put it in there yet. It's sat here. Right, so this bit goes in like that. Okay, there's no clicking, there's no sliding, it is just a straight in. So that means this has to sit in this way. Okay, because that's no clicking to here. Alright, nice and easy, nice and simple. I'm going to remove this, that's the back cover, that sits there. And then uh, I need, need that bit, I need that bit. Okay. Uh, what else do I need? I need. Actually, we probably do need all of this, don't we? What have we got here? Okay, so.
know some people get very sort of what are you doing that for Dean? What are you doing that for? Um doing this because that's you know, what was on the original drive and there was a reason for it. And that is that this machine is probably susceptible to disc spinning in such a close close proximity to uh, everything else. This is how they dealt with it. Be that right or wrong. This is more like watching a computer screen do nothing for five minutes, but what I don't know is if any of these out uh, any of these HDMI bits on the back are an output or if they're just inputs. Um, I honestly don't know, that's too bad. So there's a chance it has an input. I also don't know if they were very uh, sensible on this and actually built the Is that the implication is that this has a TV card built into it. Now, does the TV card connect to the PC, or is it built in as a TV so you can't port from it? Um, I don't actually know at this point. Um, I'm looking forward to finding out in a moment, to be fair. I mean, these, these little videos are only going to be about 30 minutes a peak. Um, while we go through this stuff, mainly because I've got to um, find a soft pass for to do this on, because uh, I don't have one at the moment. Well, I think I have one that made power it badly. Um, I really want to damage something with the wrong voltage or the wrong amperage, because that would be a very bad idea. And that just clicks in like that. As you can see, we've got bits that just stop everything from moving, and that's like that. Screws in, out case on, jobs are good, we're then ready for the next bit. So the next bit will be power of this, basically installing the OS, that's the next bit. This is when I find out that I made a boo boo. And I'm getting the impression I may have done. This may be around the wrong way. Yep, look. Got motherboard written on it. I'm an idiot. There we go. Proof positive. I am thoroughly useless after 9 am. Those of you that were joining the stream to look for uh, a little bit of gaming, I will be doing some gaming this afternoon, uh, just not right now, because if I can get this done, uh, we can do a bit of a twofer, maybe I'll just set up the second video camera to watch the screen, as it installs while we play, probably something like Stardew to be fair, I want something chilly, I want something relaxing, who doesn't want to relax on a holiday. Um, this is just this Friday. Next Friday we'll be doing some other bits. I do wonder in some ways if I can actually work a four day week to keep the same pill 
build the structure up at the moment. That'll be fun. Be different. Give people a chance to do stuff, but enjoy the world as it is. Um, See now the screws line up. Let's sort of open up screws here, screwdriver. Let's plug these in. Now these are actually one, two, three, four. These are actually numbered. Uh, you don't see them like that often. that is effectively that. Now I could put the back on. I'm debating about just putting the top on. I do actually need to put the back on as I said earlier. Which is annoying because we have to take it back off again if I decide to upgrade the memory but Ish, and you realise that that also has a bit in it that's uh, This is the problem when you've got people that smoke their computers. Everywhere, every nook, every cranny, it goes everywhere. Right, so left in this box, we should have two back, which is there and there. We should have the four corners, and we have this plate that goes there. That is as far as we are going to go with this, because if I need to take this apart again, I don't want to remove the screws, but I can do a power test with it like this. Just put the plate back on, place this here. So we just put that back on. Like 
so. And that is an Azus potentially a touchscreen rebuilt. And I'm hoping this works. So that's going to be a bit of fun. I need to find a. Let's have a little look at the back. It is a. Oh wait, we are a 19 volt, 4.74 amp adapter. It doesn't actually tell me whether it's in alive or out alive, which is a bit annoying. We'll have to look that up in a minute. Um, most are in alive, so you can't actually get into the live core. Makes sense, but some people have done it the other way around. Uh, we have. So on the rear of this, rear I.O., we've got three USB 3s, two USB 2s, a standard Ethernet in, an antenna in, which is why I want the PC if it does a recording, because I'll set it for the recording system, and just record local TV when I want something. Um, I don't often want stuff, but there are times when I do, and when I do, I can't get to it at the moment, because my old recording system... Um, which is the system I'm using for you guys, for me to talk to you. Uh, I updated it to a 60, uh, 6500. Um, yeah, I, I updated it to a 6500, basically 6500 doesn't have PCI slots on it, because that's what the, graphic, uh, that's what the capture card was. Um, this little puppy isn't going to need that. All we need to do now is find the power supply, and we'll be good to go. I have a power supply. What is your output voltage? Uh, right, so it says it can do 4 amps at 19 volts. That's good. That is good. I mean, it's a little bit shy, so it's going to run a little bit warm. But the question here is will my power plug? does actually fit so yeah we'll uh, we'll give it a crack with that then switch you around so 19 volt at 4.7 so it really wants 5 amps but I can only do 4 it may blow this past but I'll be honest it doesn't matter I'm more interested to see if it does do a power on so let's see if we put this in here like this, we find the power switch, which is... Yeah. Hey! I've got LED light going. So I'm going to move this up a little bit for you guys. Yeah, I'll do that. She powers. She does power. How well she's going to power, I don't know. Warning, the current power settings are... Do not fully support the boot device. Okay. Wow. Touch ring. It is touch ring. Confirm it's touch ring, guys. Which is awesome. Um, what I want to do, when I find the option, is I basically want to go into default. Uh, optimized defaults. I can't actually do. I can't select that. There is no optimized default button. So there's a bit of an issue with it. You've got a touchscreen display, which is beautiful. Uh, I can't see any pixel dents, deaths on this at all. We've got USB that we can connect into. We've got SD card, microphone, headphone. So this is actually a nice little system. Um, Maybe okay for playing some like Serious Sam, to do some stuff like that. You know, not not Serious Sam three, Serious Sam one, Serious Sam two. Um, maybe someone real may push it. It is now quiet, which is cool. Uh, we'll go to the monitoring side. CPU temperature is at 40 degrees. The fan temperature is at 25. If I were to bring up, in this case, Specky on the system we're transmitting on, so the one we're talking to you guys on, CPU temperature is dropping it's 39 40, so that's not too bad. The one we currently have in PC I'm transmitting to you guys on, the CPU is at 43 degrees under load, so 
Yeah, I mean, this is not a... Uh, this, this isn't going to be a uh, high-powered bit. I am going to have to connect a keyboard to it because I need the F5 key, which isn't too bad because I just don't have the keyboard here. So the biggest problem I've got with that is I may have to reboot it. Uh, it does power, which is cool. We can load the optimized, yep. F10 slide back, yep. And we are we are good. We are actually good. Go to boot CSM parameters and adjust the CSM settings to enable the boot device. Okay. CSM compatibility. What is wrong with that then? Right, so this is about using non-UFEI UFEI bits, which is fine. And so much for auto, it hasn't sort of gone. I will boot this way, it's just stopped itself. And this is basically saying, I've got to go back in the bars because it doesn't understand what I'm looking at. Which is really irritating because if I want to reboot this and I want to do a full reinstall, it's going to keep doing that, which is very, very stupid. So it's now going to do something we wanted to do. I don't know if this hard drive I've put in it wasn't new, I don't know if it's got a device, you know, something on it already. Maybe that's the problem. It has a copy of Windows on it already. There's the problem. Okay, so things I've got to do now, guys, um, I've got to go and get myself a copy of Windows 8 because this is a. Well, actually, I don't. I need to find out what version of Windows this needs to have on it because the disk was removed. The license for the install is on the uh, BIOS of the system. Um, so, yeah, we can get that detail, I need to use the serial number, which I've got, and the part number, and I can probably find out what it had on it from the Zeus system, which is cool, and then we can do the install while we're playing the game this afternoon. So, between now and then, stay safe, be well, and uh, I will see you later. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed watching me just tinker around with these systems, and uh, loving the uh, new anime mats that I've brought. So I've got three of them now. Uh, this one's Nico Para, and that one's DXD, and I think that one over there's One Punch. So I've got a bit of a bit of a mix. Um, specifically bought the current mouse mount that you can see my hand on. I bought that solely for the purpose of protecting the screen, so it's brand new and had some delay. Uh, Till next time, guys. I will say bye for now, and we will see you a little bit later. Take care.